People have always wanted to fly. If you look up in the sky, you'll probably see an airplane, and there's drones and helicopters all around us. But nevertheless, you will be surprised by how many misconceptions and misunderstandings there are regarding how objects fly. Mathematical theory, and then you've got uh, Newtonian physics. And the two don't necessarily agree on why the airplane flies. I decided to delve into this topic and conduct research. So how do you make an object go up and fly in the air? All the theories are centered around airfoil and its specific shape. One of the most common explanations is that when air particles get split at the front of the airfoil, they have to travel faster at the top since it's curved than at the bottom since it's straight to meet at the same place. And faster moving air has lower air pressure according to Bernoulli's equation. This theory is wrong because who said the particles have to meet at the same time? Not all wings have this form. And what about planes that can fly upside down? But it doesn't mean Bernoulli's equation is wrong. It just means that the explanation for how things fly is wrong. So if the airfoil shape is wrong, maybe the secret is in the wing's position? This seems pretty logical. If the airfoil is tilted at an angle, molecules incoming would go here and bounce back, causing the plane to go up. The problem here is that particles are not just independent things, but they are parts of a larger fluid. And the math is also wrong because it says that the lift it creates should be proportional to this angle squared. But practice says that it's linear dependency. So the real theory is that the air has to move down, creating more pressure below. And this works because of Newton's third law, which is every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So when the air pressure moves down, the plane goes up. A simple experiment with just a paper airplane. The shape of the wing made the airflow go up, which created the reaction of the plane tilting upward. Let's do the opposite and bend these wings downwards. We are creating a strong airflow here that causes the plane to move like this. Now you can go fly peacefully with this knowledge.